Welcome friends, welcome back to After Dark, and today we're going to be making a Pisco Sour. Um, and a Pisco Sour is one of those kind of crazy cocktails where there's a bit of controversy and there's some national pride at play. At its core, it's a sour. So there is, um, there's lemon or lime. I'm using fresh lime juice today. Uh, you see recipes back and forth alternately, lime juice or lemon juice. I know that in Peru, they generally use lime juice. So we need a half lime juice and into our shaker glass. Two spoonfuls of super fine sugar. Um, and you know, it's not, an exact amount, two spoonfuls. Next in is the Pisco. Now Pisco is a grape brandy. There's two types of Pisco, both named exactly the same thing. There's Pisco from Peru and there's Pisco from Chile. They both are made from grapes, but they use a different process um, and they use a different grape. So you're gonna get a different flavor depending on which one you use. So two in. Now, that's all I'm gonna put in the shaker tin right now. I'm gonna shake this with ice. So I'm doing a reverse dry shake, which means I'm gonna shake with ice first before putting the egg in. So, into the tin, give it a shake. Okay, now, strain out the ice. And I'm gonna double strain, just to make sure I don't get any chips in. Okay, get rid of the ice. Now I add in the white of one egg, and this is a small egg, um, a very small egg. So if you've got a large egg or you use large eggs in your kitchen, um, I would only use about half of the egg white because that's about all you need. So separate the egg, in goes the white. Back into the shaking tin and shake. Okay, take the ice out of the serving glass. Now, no need to strain it because we've already strained it. Look at that, there you go. Nice egg froth for the top. And traditionally you're supposed to put in three dashes Well, three dashes for good luck. I didn't quite make it. And there it is, the Pisco Sour. What can we say about this drink? Uh, you're not gonna see it in very many places, in North America anyway. Um, Pisco is not something that you often find on the bar. Um, and Cruncho Bitters, same thing. You're not gonna find those many places, but when you do find them and you find someone who makes this well, it is a treat. So you've got the bitters on your nose because they're right there on top of the foam. And Cruncho bitters have this really, really kind of um, fantastic flavor, unlike any other bitters. They're made with botanicals that are found in Peru. Mm. Yeah, that egg white, immediately that egg white fills your mouth. Flavor of the pisco and the lime. Um, and I think that this would be a completely different cocktail if you used lemon. So you could, you can try this a couple of different ways. I'm not gonna do it today because I really like it with the lime. And if you can get key limes, uh, that would be perfect because the limes they use in Peru are much smaller than the limes we're getting from Mexico. Um, they're much more closely related to the key lime than any other lime, so they'll have a completely different flavor yet again. Now, you don't have to serve it up in a cocktail glass. Uh, lots of places will serve it in a rocks glass or an old fashioned glass. Uh, some will even put it in a rocks or an old fashioned glass with a lump of ice. I don't think the ice is necessary. I think this is a cocktail that you'll drink before it gets warm. Um, and if you've never had Pisco before, 
I'd go out and I'd try it somewhere. If you can get a hold of a sample and give it a try at a bar someplace, ask for a shot, try a Pisco Sour. I think Pisco is something that you might add to your bar at home. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.